Yo, what is going on, you buff Beldum? We're coming at you with some Cramorant VMAX action. Now, this list specifically was piloted by Robin Schultz uh, to a 5-0 finish in the first phase of the PC3 qualifiers to get to phase two. And I know I came at you recently with a Cramorant VMAX video, but this list was really cool, really interesting. And I was going to try it out anyway, so I thought I, may, I thought I may as well bring you guys along for the ride. If you guys don't know uh, how this deck works, the point of the deck is to use Cramorant V or the VMAX as our main attackers. We got a backup slash late game attacker in the double bull. Uh, and we get our energy set up in play to use Cramorant V or the VMAX through Porygon Z with that crazy code ability that allows us to attach as many special energy as we want during our turn to our Pokemon in any way we like. And the special energy we're bringing along with us are the Recycle Energy, which works super well with all of our attackers but uh the obvious synergies with that spit shot we put them on there they spit shot or we spit shot the energy go back to our hand to use again uh on a later turn a powerful energy uh providing one energy but also allowing us to do plus 20 damage our close pokemon do plus 20 damage so super strong with double i would assume for sure um, but also we can like spit shot for more damage on our opponent's active pokemon if we want to ko like i don't know a bolton we can spit shot the active for the plus 20 it only affects the active pokemon so we can't like ko a crobat off the bench with the powerful energy but if we want to ko something like a bolton in the active two powerfuls on the active and knock that out we have that option capture energy of course is in here one of the most powerful energies in the game but it's colorless type so it's really hard to fit in a lot of decks but it works perfectly alongside a bunch of attackers who only take colorless energy and of course a pokemon that puts a bunch of special energy in play yeah one of the best energies in the game it's hard to utilize pretty frequently and then three triple acceleration energies to help boost, really boost the damage of that max jet from the Cramorant V Max. And uh, that's basically it. It's Skyla heavy, which I find really interesting. I've never been a huge fan of Skyla, but I'm definitely down to run the list as is and see how it feels. So I'm not changing anything. We'll see how the three Skyla feel. There's also a telescopic sight, so we can actually get those KOs on stuff like Crobats on the bench in the light game or Eldegoss or a Dedenne with a big charm, you know? um and yeah besides that nothing too ridiculous got some glimwood tangles in here if we uh get a little bit unlucky with the max jet and go ahead and get a reflip going on and i think that's all i've got to say about the list so let's go ahead and let's get into some games okay we're getting into it uh we did win the coin flip i think we'll go second um yeah i think we'll go second we can use like that turn one b catch feels better to go second i think overall turn one b catch yeah, turn one B catch, turn one B catch. Also, we have to like use a supporter and stuff turn one, helping us set up. We are playing a stage two in our deck, so going first and then having to get out like a turn two Porygon Z uh, doesn't seem as likely. It looks like <laughs> looks like we have maybe hit a mirror match. I think. <clears throat> yep, we have hit a mirror match in the first game here. Um, so I feel like this is gonna all be all be about spit shotting each other's Porygon Zs and keeping them out of play. And then maybe going for bigger one hit KOs later on. So getting down multiple uh, Porygon as soon as possible is going to be a big deal. Yeah, being able to use B catch turn one as well is going to be a big deal. And uh, our mulligan was the double, which is actually a really good mulligan draw for us because it allows us to use this communication. So we're going to be able to get a couple Porygons, a couple Cramorants too. We get double Cram, double Porygon. And then we could B catch to try and hold this hand that has all this energy in it. We don't actually have to. Um, <clears throat> we don't actually have to use uh the research here we could just be catch and kind of end our turn that way or we could marnie our opponent has a bigger hand than uh they need to have so we could just hit him with the marnie actually instead so let's go with the let's start with the capture energy here and go ahead and grab ourselves porygon we're gonna go ahead and calm grab ourselves a porygon i just don't really want to lose the energy <clears throat> grab the porygon we only have one porygon z in the deck so we did prize a couple porygon z it looks like just a few, um, but a few is going to be a lot in this situation. We also prize double Cramorant B. So, yikes. Yeah, think about grabbing this Porygon. I want a quick ball something here. I think I might get rid of the powerful and keep the research around, to be honest. I think I'm going to give the powerful here. <clears throat> get the other Cramorant, get that into play as well. And then I'll go ahead and Marnie. It disrupts my opponent. It saves me the triple. It saves me the research as well. It's like draw supporters. Keeping those around is sometimes a pretty big deal we got a rip candy <clears throat> skyla energy so when we beat catch here i feel like we want to go for and we got a quick ball so we could like crobat to draw a bunch of cards so we can use skyla if we want so when we beat catch here we want to get the porygon z i don't know if i want to go into the cramorant v max i kind of just want to snipe their porygon so i could go like porygon z plus 
a recycle. Um, that seems fine to me. And then we can kind of see how well our opponent draws. Like they might not draw very well and not be able to actually have a really good, a good response or even decent response to this uh, situation. So we'll see what my opponent actually ends up doing here. Uh, who has, who knows, right? Who knows what they can actually pull off here. Here comes Skyla. Um, but yeah, if it is just a beat catch from them, we just got that spit shot KO. It is the reset stamp off the of sky. So I feel like they're going Skyla reset stamp beat catch. Um, so we get reset stamped. So let's see what we even get to work with here. Got a Skyla, got a comp, got a Crobat. So we can pull off the candy, Porygon Z, and then Crobat for some cards. Try and find enough energy to use spit shot and KO the Porygon. But they're not done yet. There's a dead change from them. So they could still find a second Porygon to put in play. And at that point, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> so right now, they didn't get the second Porygon. So we definitely want to snipe this Porygon. That is our number one goal this turn. KO Porygon. Hopefully our top deck is, I don't know, a, a rare candy. Oh, it's a reset stamp. But reset, stamp, reset stamping them here isn't that bad, actually. So we can go calm the VMAX, Skyla for rare candy, grab the Porygon. Grab the Porygon, Skyla for rare candy. Uh, this Crobat's going to be big. Reset stamp. Reset that hand down a little bit. Get rid of those two cards they chose. Doing the exact same thing they did to us. Right back. And we have a bench space left, so we can at Dead A change as well. We can still Dead A change. Find. Um, to dig a little bit deeper to find the energy. But there the energy are. Uh, crazy code. And the spit shot is in. Uh, I don't think I'm going to attach this energy yet because I don't know where I'd want it. Um, that's it. Spit shot. Take care of that Porygon. Our opponent can't do any meaningful attacks next turn, which gives us a ton of time to kind of do whatever we want. We could even just plant a spit shot again next turn and KO another Porygon. So this turn, they still have to get down a double Porygon. So they only get down one Porygon. We're just going to do the same thing. Spit shot, KO the Porygon, and repeat until they get uh, a Porygon Z set up. Uh, so there's double Porygon, but we could still do this exact same play. And I think we're going to do this exact same play. We have a Marnie to go with it as well. We're just going to go spit shot, KO Porygon. <laughs> and then Marnie, and then once again, just kind of repeat. Um, actually, in this scenario, though, it's a little bit riskier because we don't have... I actually like set up to um, sort of like this. We can just like kind of set up two Cramorants, I guess. I don't want to actually take anything here. Um, put this here so we can spit shot again because we did prize double Porygon Z ourselves and Marnie not going to evolve anything into the VMAX. Although we could evolve maybe this one to the VMAX to be honest. Hopefully get at least one energy. Okay, we got a recycle which is perfect. Um, I could even go... No, I don't think I ever get three recycles on a Cramorant. Crazy code just here. I'm just going to do the same thing. We're just going to spit shot the Porygon which to be honest now that this is the first time I've ever played this mirror match and now that I'm playing the mirror match this seems like it might just be the way you play the mirror match. It's literally... Both players just kind of chase Porygons. Um, okay, we got a Porygon to get out of the prize cards. This is a huge hit to get out of the prize cards because otherwise we maybe would have ended up in a scenario where they would snipe our Porygon C and then, you know, get down another Porygon. We would be able to snipe this Porygon. We got that switch plus the recycles and stuff in hand. So we'd be able to pull off another snipe next turn to chase another Porygon. But then following that, we might just not be able to make pull off any more attacks. So big deal that we actually hit this Porygon Z out of the prize cards. Otherwise, we would maybe be in pretty big trouble but now i'm feeling just fine of course we do need to get the red candy to actually make it into a porygon z because currently we're just rocking that porygon but once we get there we should be all set our opponent could also go the route of the v max here and just kind of ignore uh ignore the whole spit shot war that i've kind of started and just kind of be like you know what that's cool you can do what you want to do i'm just going to start one hit ko on your cramorants and I don't lose my energy when I attack, and I'm just going to keep attacking. The Glimwood Tangle is in play for them. I didn't want to put that in play, but I felt like it was definitely worth it to draw that extra card off the Crobat when I did. Um, so that's why I did put it in play. So my opponent could just kind of go that route instead and just be like, I'm just going to keep doing this. You do whatever you want. I don't care. I am going to sit here and just... Uh, I'm just going to sit here and just start swinging at the VMAX. We'll see what they get off the Skyla. That'll be a good indication of what route they're going. I guess no matter what, they want to probably try and set up their Porygon Z. Actually, it was a Skyla for a Marnie. All right. <laughs> That's never a good sign. Are they going for... Nope. Yeah, they're going the VMAX route. So they do need to hit three heads here on this max jet to actually get a knockout. And that's one heads. So let's see if they go for the reflip. They do. Oh my gosh, that was close. They almost got it. We definitely did not want them to get that there. And they don't. So good for us. Um, 
let's see we definitely want to go after the Porygon once again and then all we have to do is kill this VMAX to win the game so that puts us in a pretty good spot to be honest we're gonna go with crazy code this here we could actually retreat and make it harder for them to get the knockout and possibly make them whiff although they'd be in a pretty good spot to get it pretty much no matter what um so i think i want to leave the lower hp one in the active just because of that like i think they will be able to get the knockout um yeah, i think they'll be able to get the knockout here so and knowing they can't switch out anymore i'm gonna go ahead and calm away the Oregon z i'm gonna make this into a v max right now uh and we kind of know they're gonna marnie us next turn as well and if they don't we still have a decent amount of energy to work with to start pulling off attacks still and then yeah spit shot ko that porygon once again yeah because like they'll be able to attach next turn with the glim with tangle there's a really high chance that they'll be able to pull off the knockout even if it was a fresh hp cramorant so i don't want to like make this cramorant be my v max and then make it that much easier for them to get the next knockout and so on so i think it's definitely correct here to just kind of chill like they'll have four energy even if this had 200 hp they would need to get you know three heads they had the reflip this could have been a powerful energy instead of a recycle and then they just need to get two heads out of four so seems correct to just let this one go uh, our draw is okay we'll probably just try and dig pretty deep here to try and find uh more energy and try and get the one hit ko on their v max or at least hit it really really hard and then we're gonna quick well put another cramorant in play and then that cramorant will be able to snipe a spit shot to clean up the uh clean up the knockout ideally uh who knows maybe they get really really unlucky here comes the reflip they just need one heads okay they got it yeah <laughs> hey if i sent the fresh hp one they wouldn't have gotten the knockout but can't really predict the future so i'm not gonna try to we're just gonna roll with what we know to be seemingly be the best play and i think that was definitely correct all right draw into a research now changes things a little bit i don't really want to put the dna in play because it is kind of just free prize cards for a spit shot if they're able to set up another porygon at this point i don't know if they'll be able to do that to be honest um yeah i don't feel the need to put this dna in play i'm, I'm bench this cramorant i'm just gonna play the research i don't really want to put easy prize cards in play we only got one energy there so that is not great not gonna lie but uh that's all we got oh no i clicked done i thought i was clicking done for crazy code oops i have made quite the grave mistake there and this could lead us to uh unfortunate end oh my gosh i psyched myself out i thought i was clicking done to stop using crazy code like you have to do if you have more special energy in your hand that is not what I was doing at all. And now who knows how this game is going to end now? Who knows? We could lose this one now at this point. I am not feeling super confident anymore. <laughs> um, it'll be hard for them to get the one hit KO on my Cram Ramp VMAX. They'd have to get pretty lucky. So we got that for going for us. The hand is still solid. Very solid hand overall still. The double. Uh, got our own. Another Cram Ramp VMAX if I want to VMAX this. I don't think I'll want to do that. Um... They're going for a triple acceleration energy here. We saw them discard this powerful. So we know what they're going for. They're going for the triple XL. They're going to try and get lucky and get this knockout. It's still pretty unlikely that they'll get it. And there's a recycle, not a triple. So I'm feeling way safer at this point. They can still get it if they get pretty lucky. All right, they're going to need a reflip. Most definitely. <laughs> One in four. Definitely going for the reflip. But they need like what? Oh my gosh. No. Uh-oh. We are in big trouble. Okay, now we have to go all out, I think, and try and get the one hit KO with RV Max. That misclick was huge. I got nothing else to say. Huge misclick there. We have a lot of energy left, though, so we can definitely pull off this big knockout. There we go. Double recycles. Um, play this. Gonna go ahead and grab ourselves this to thin out of the deck. We have a Crobat. Yeah, a lot of energy left, so definitely can pull it off. Yep, my bad. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, research, I guess. I could have benched the double, I guess, but I could draw into something that I want to bench and then put down Crobat. That is a lot of energy. Um, yeah, just like I said, so now we can, like, bench something, thin out the deck a little bit more. So, yeah, we got a lot of energy. Uh, how many heads do we need? Uh, put this here, thin out the Porygon. How many would we need? Four, uh, what is it, 80 times? So, four heads, right? Yeah, we need four heads. That's what my opponent got, so I'd assume that's all I need. All right, now Crobat for six. We still have three triples in the deck. Uh, some other energy, we get two triples. So, this should be still a good cleanup. Um, see, there's that done button right there to stop using Porygon. That's the button I thought I was clicking for the turn. 
max jet four heads we have 10 11, 12 energy on here we get to reflip there's already four how much further can we go five can we get to six can we get to six can we get to seven uh no we'll take this six and clean this one up it was close learned a lot about the mirror match chase the porygons you'll end up in a pretty good spot don't click done unless it's done to stop attaching energy with porygon z and you'll get the dubs all right here we go again uh go in second again want to use a supporter want to use beat catch on our first turn and another pretty solid start come away the denny then we have the beat catch short we already have the red candy in hand so we don't really need to we really need to look for a supporter this turn we're up against eternatus v max which to be honest i don't is it a tough matchup is it a, it's probably a tough matchup we gotta go to our v max for sure we need cramer and v max definitely to compete against them so it looks like we're gonna probably go capture grab ourselves a man i really want two of each but i don't want to lose this hand of our candies so we have to go with like come away the dedene grab a cramorant and then capture out a porygon i think has to be the route we take so let's go with that let's go capture cram come porygon uh and then b catch um and i'm not gonna lie i'm not super confident in this initial setup in this one we'll see how it goes b catch we're gonna get ourselves that porygon z and um maybe just grab the cram no we need like a research i was gonna, say, I was gonna grab the cram v max maybe some research right that seems like the best route to take here yeah seems good to me so we got the candy porygon capture out like another cram or another porygon we'll see what we top deck probably another cram I'll try and get the VMAX going with as many energy as we possibly can and just swing. Hopefully get the one hit KO. The one thing I'm scared about here is just like VMAX boss KO my Porygon. I'm really, there it is. <laughs> Dude, yep. I was going to say, do they have the VMAX? Yes, they have the VMAX. We don't lose yet. We don't lose because of this. Doesn't, we're in a rough spot though. I feel like we have to do the exact same play we just made. Capture, Porygon, V catch. And then once again, we're just kind of hoping they don't have a boss. We have two candies and a Porygon in hand. I think we could research here and try and get a second Porygon, though, to be honest. I think we will go for that. Hopefully, ideally, we would top deck Calm or a Quick Ball. But um, <clears throat> just going to have to go the same route we just did. Get out double Porygon. Because they can't actually one hit KO Cramorant B Max. So if we get like a huge Cramorant B Max, which we potentially can, that can just like one hit KO back to back. Uh, it turns his V Maxes. And then that can just be game. Um, so we, we're not out of this one yet. It's just kind of in a rough spot um yeah i'm scared of like a follow-up boss so i really want to porygon on the bench um, i'm gonna go ahead and v max this benched one here capture energy out a porygon and then i will play the research i mean we got two rare candy two porygon left we probably only need to set up one porygon z i'll put the telescopic site here if for some reason they get another boss and don't KO this uh we can go with that we really need there it is the quick ball quick ball one of these skylas grab the porygon we got the rare candy in hand which is great um, we'll go ahead and hit up that beat catch. I'm going to go ahead and grab ourselves the Porygon Z. And I'm like leaning towards wanting to just like grab a triple acceleration energy here. I'm just trying to do a lot of damage on the next turn. Um, a research wouldn't be bad because Marnie isn't great, to be honest. I think I will actually lean towards that research <clears throat> as my grab here. Um, we just need to draw a lot of cards. We just need to draw a lot of cards. Try and get this one hit KO. We're starting to going to start to slip slowly further and further behind to the point where we might not be able to catch back up. So got to do what we can now we need what we need four four heads with a powerful energy gets the ko on the eternity v max which actually to be honest if we can get a ton of energy isn't that many heads we need to get and we can get a ton of energy so four heads uh and we could find ourselves one of those little tangles gives us that reflip uh and really can get us there uh pretty reasonably to be honest we can get there pretty reasonably so we'll see if we can pull that off there's their weavile so they got that set up I don't think this offers them too many options in the current scenario. I'm not too scared of the Weavile at all, personally. I think we're we're fine. We can deal with, like, it's not going to offer them too many options. I don't know what other attackers they could possibly play around the Weavile. Um, I think what's going to happen here is they're going to KO my Kramer at V. There's a Marnie. Of course, that's kind of expected. Of course, that's going to be what they want to dig for. So now we need to draw pretty well. We need to draw pretty well here. Let's see. Crobat, Cycle, Marnie. Not great um <clears throat> room for improvement but we got a top deck and crobat draw to work with so it can definitely get better turns out they play crushing hammer as well as the weavile line uh thankfully they got tails this one energy could be the difference maker so all right here we go v max to the active 
Let's see what the Crobat can do for us. I don't want to bench this Porygon because I want room for that Crobat to Dene and then possibly next turn more Crobats are to Dene. So um, we're not going to bench this Porygon because of that. Because we're planning for our opponent to maybe not take a knockout and just try and two hit KO or Cram Ram VMAX. Definitely the way it could go. There's the candy. So we're not far off here. We've got a Crobat for three. No out to the Porygon Z. That is super unfortunate. Comp, Evolution Incense, drawing into it would have all worked. This doesn't work great. Just gonna go ahead and Marnie. Hope for the best. The best is not very good, not gonna lie. <laughs> I think we should actually just like switch to Crobat and pass. That's what I'm leaning towards here. I don't think Daddy Changing does a whole ton. I think switch to Crobat and pass is gonna be the move. Uh, and hope they don't have boss for our VMAX. Then bossing up our VMAX would be pretty annoying, but they would need, a, need another boss. I definitely would not leave this in the active. I would retreat it for sure. Um, so I would move it. Here come those crushing hammers. Maybe they choose my recycle energy. Pretty unlikely. Yep, there's the choice of the capture energy. Yeah, wasn't gonna happen. Um, we'll see what else they got going on here. There's another return to the VMAX. Now we do play a reset stamp. So if they take the KO on this Crobat, once again, another thing we can dig for is that reset stamp. Find the reset stamp. Reset stamp them low. Uh, and then maybe they just won't be able to draw out of it. I'm sure they would love a boss here to just bring up the VMAX and punch it. It's my only reasonable threat on my turn next turn is this. And now they bench locked themselves and ran out of Crobat. So the reset stamp is super lethal. I don't even know what I want to say. It's super good here. <laughs> it's just really good. Great ball as well. Yeah, they would need also back-to-back -back boss as well. Uh, they would need back-to-back -back boss to actually. Because I can just retreat the Cram Cramorant VMAX. Maybe even go to like a Cramorant and use B-Catch. Uh, set up finally to get a Porygon Z into play, which we've been whiffing so far. We've been missing it so far. There's a research that's not a boss. All right, so they're taking the knockout on the active. It's exactly where we want to be. They knock out our active. We dead a change next turn. V, uh, Porygon Z, a bunch of energy, knockout, then knockout, stamp to one as well. So there's a lot of stuff we want. We're not, we might not be able to get all of it, but let's see how much of it we can get. If we can get all of it, that is ideal and definitely opens up a pretty good route for us to come back and possibly take this game. All right. Cramorant VMAX. The active Glimwood Tangles, a nice top deck. Grab ourselves the... I might grab the Crobat here because we can draw five with Crobat, which is still pretty reasonable. <clears throat> still a pretty reasonable draw, to be honest. Um, and then look for the Dedene afterwards. We got a couple outs of the Dedene's there. Um, the reset stamps in the deck. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. We want the powerful energy. This is, this is our only attacker we plan to use for probably the rest of the game. So the recycle, getting the recycle back doesn't do a whole ton. All right. We got the evolution incense. We can get the Porygon and we can put a bunch of energy on it. Unfortunately, we got no follow-up. If only we had, if one of these things was like a Dedene, we would be in a great spot. I think it's pretty likely our opponent has a boss in their hand. So I think we're going to be taking the L here in this one we'll see though maybe they whiff and then maybe we top deck or maybe we even get this ko getting this ko is still actually really important we have to get this ko um max jet we need four heads three heads uh oh hey five sure no reflip there's the knockout do they have the boss they're only down one boss they got a pretty big hand uh they have no crobats to dig with though they're out of crobats so if it's not in the hand then they're gonna have to settle for something else so it's very possible they don't got it. We have a lot of draw power in this hand to work with. Now we got the research. We got the quick ball. Finding more energy to work with shouldn't be too hard at all. They're taking their time. So this, maybe th this is making me think that we maybe have a shot here. Um, well, apparently I have a good deck. So that makes me think that they probably have uh, the boss's orders. <laughs> Usually when you have a good deck, your opponent has game. Yeah, a little bit slow in this one. Uh, the beat catch is never stuck. And... Uh, yeah, what can I say? We tried. We got close. Uh, that draw there at the end was like not too bad, to be honest, but it wasn't good enough. We just needed a little bit more. Needed to find that reset stamp. Couldn't find it, and we take a hell L here in this one.